tulong na walang kapali. Bukal sa kalooban, ang tanging hangarin ay magsilbi sa bayan. Sulong na bayan! Programang sasa inyo, alas dos hanggang alas tres ng hapon. Sulong na bayan! Kasama si Miss Loli Acosta sa DWIZ 882. Pagpalang hapon po sa ating mga tagapakinig. Welcome po sa ating programang Sulong na Bayan at tayo po'y dinig na dinig sa iba't mga panig ng mundo. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, sa case may di, lalong-lalong po sa Estados Unidos, sa East Coast, sa West Coast, ganyan na lang po sa gitnang silangan. Napakalakas po natin sa Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, sa Jeddah, sa Riyadh, Qatar, Dubai, at syempre sa ating mga neighboring countries, saan-saan naman po yan, sa Down Under, sa Australia, dyan po sa Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Singapore, Hong Kong, at syempre sa Myanmar, malakas na rin po tayo dyan sa Phnom Penh, kung saan naman galing ang ating Pangulo Kamakailan at syempre dyan naman po sa Macau, kung saan naman nandun ang ating wifey ng ating uh, engineer Fred Balamala. Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. Nako, lalo na sa ating mga kapatid ng Muslim, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Kasi bukas na po ang Christmas. Ano po, Christmas Eve, ang 25 ang sinasilabra ng buong tradisyon ng ating bayan. At para maintindihan natin kung ano nga po ba, exchange gifts nga lang nga po ba ang ibig sabihin ng Christmas pag dumarating ang Pasko, o ito ay uh, Christmas tree nga ba, nagdedekora, o Christmas lights, siguro alamin na natin kung ano nga po ang ibig sabihin ng kapanganakan ng ating mahal na poong Panginoong Jesus. Nasa kabilang linya ang aking partner, my BFF and my uh, ba- prayer buddy and siguro lahat-lahat na <laughs> ang aking confidante, travel agent ko at the same time. No less than si Spen Berdan. Hello! Hi! Hello! Good afternoon! Ayan. Good afternoon! Merry Christmas! Ang ganda-ganda ng yung brain. <laughs> yung picture na nag-brain pa ang talagang pinili nila. Ayun! Alam ko napaka-busy mo at uh, gusto kong mag-hello din sa ating kasamang kapatid na dumating at balikbayan from uh, Dubai, di ba? Ay, Dubai, ka- yes! Si Brother oh, Ramel, at, uh, welcome yes, yes. Uh, home or welcome <laughs> back, Sister si Mike. Yes, at syempre nakita ko naman yung inyong revolving picture. Ang hirap kunin nun, ha? Umi- pati yung mata ko umiikot-ikot na gano'n. <laughs> Ang galing. <laughs> Kuha ni Dr. Rene yata, no? Rene Verdan. So, hello, hello, hello. At Merry, Merry Christmas. Hi. Hello. Oh. Yun, kasi di ba, si Spen, very, um, oh, talagang sin- tradition. Tradition kasi most Christmas. Christmases, traditions vary. Nagbabary din naman ng significance true, and true, symbol. True. O, yeah. Kasi iba-iba ng kultura. So for example, we exchange gifts because God sent us the most the most precious gift. Imagine. Sorry. Alam kaya nang ito, the most precious gift ang binigay sa atin, His only begotten son. And then meron patlong wise men who oh. this They visited Jesus and nagbigay din ng regalo. So, parang ganun yung yeah. feeling natin kasi nagbibigay ng regalo. And then, meron uh, din yeah. title, Visit from St. Nicholas. Ayan, mamaya, <laughs> eh, ipakita tayo. Mamaya kasi meron ako na-interview, alam mo si Spen, na-interview ko yung isang uh, Finland national, Finnish. Finnish okay. siya. Wow, yes. Oh, and naganda ng kanyang pahayag dahil 16 years old pa lang daw, Nagtatrabaho na siya kay Santa Claus. Nagulat ako. Uh, <laughs> Sabi ko, uh, 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 <laughs> ito pa lang may Santa Claus dyan sa Finland. Uh, 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 at may village uh, pa daw ito na Santa Claus talaga ang pangalan ng village. Yes. At nagalit, uh, uh, pinagutik. E tanong ko, may Mrs. Santa Claus ba? Meron din Mrs. Claus. Pero, sabi <laughs> Ang ganda ng pagkaka-explain niya. Ay, yung kanyang tang, eh, fin- Finland, eh, Finnish. Nahirapan din ako medyo thick yung accent. Pero maya-maya, ipapakita natin yung kanilang, uh, ang kanyang interview ko sa kanya, no? Para lang maintindihan din natin na siya yeah. ay nag-trap. Teenager pa siya, kay Santa Claus. Oh, tourist destination yan, eh. Ayun, sa Northern Light. Ano, Pinupuntahan yan. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, pwede kang sumulat dyan ng, ano, ang iyong wish. Mm, ng gusto ko siya tapos oo i-mail mo yan para mabasa ni Facebook Santa <laughs> ay Facebook ko last ayun oh, yeah. sinabi niya niya sabi niya eh, nung makita ko siya dyan sa EDSA Shangri-La kasi may malaking fair ng education na uh, European Union Education Fair, ano? So, isa uh-huh. siya sa nung ang sabi niya I was like teenager when I uh, worked for him ha? Huh? 
Kasi yeah. medyo nung nakikita na ito na siya. Nagulat ako, no. teenager pa pala. That early on, meron na Santa Claus. So, ayan uh, po. Uh, all yes. the people, alam mo, si Spen, all the people worldwide celebrate Christ's birth on December 25th. It was yes. likely that he on a different month and date. Kaya lang yun na yun. Yes, I agree. Church, you know? So, the church in the 4th century chose December 25th yata as it coordinated with the Roman calendar. So, hindi na natin masyadong agree. Masyadong, ang talagang kailangan natin maipaalala sa ating mga taga-pakinig, taga-panood, ano, nanonood uh-huh. yung aking mga auntie dyan sa baklaran, si Ate Nevi, Balikbayan from Canada, si Nes Ligan. Okay, Hello. Yeah. Siguro. Ayan, maiintindahan nyo na po kung anong ibig sabihin ng true meaning of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. The true meaning of Christmas is the celebration of our Savior. Anong take mo dyan? Go ahead. Oh, tayo naman, di ba? Tayong dalawa. Kwento-kwentuhan lang naman to, di ba? So, sa tingin ko, kanya-kanya naman tayo ng mga mga traditions, kanya-kanya tayo ng mga mga pinaniniwalaan, yung kanya. Oh, but I agree. So, siguro parang to give you my take, no? Alam naman natin, ang Pilipinas pa siguro ang pinaka uh, uh, bansa na nagsiselebrate ng Christmas ang pagka the longest, no? We celebrate uh-huh. Christmas the longest. <laughs> right. Diba? September parang September pa lang. Pa lang. <laughs> September 1. Right. Diba? I Dapat know. September 1 pa lang, kinakanta na natin yung kanta niyo, Jose Marita. Uh, you say <laughs> Diba? Kasi dumating VER. Ayan. Last Christmas Tapos, na sa atin. Mm-mm. And makikita mo na kung yung mga, alam mo yung mga online shopping, di ba? Yung mga letter S, yung mga letter yes. L, yung mga ganyan. Yung mga mm-hmm. online shopping, as early as September, ang dami ng mga pinepresent sa atin ng mga re- mga, mga mm-hmm. gift uh, gift suggestions. Diba? Yes. So talagang hindi nawawala yung, like what you said, hindi nawawala yung gift giving, which is not wrong altogether. We like that eh. We like giving gifts. We also like receiving gifts. No? Sure. But, um, uh, since your question is, ano ba yung talagang meaning ng Christmas? It's, ako, syempre, number one, you, you mentioned it already. We received the greatest gift, which is salvation through the death of Jesus Christ. Okay. We know that. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, yung, yung susunod doon na bonus natin, will be family talaga. Mm-hmm. Yung gift of family na sabi ng iba, wala akong family, solo lang ako. Diba? Yung family na aking sinasabi, that would have to be blood family eh. Mm-hmm. Ang, ang family na sinasabi ko is uh, tayo ng mga Pilipino, may, may, mahilig tayo sa community eh. Diba? We have, okay. uh, we have our um, grupo. Ano, neighbors, diba? Office mates. Diba? Mm-hmm. Yung kanyang, uh, ano ba, yung mga ka-Zumba mo or ka-sport ka mo. Yung, group, ka group, right. Mm-hmm. Yes, oo. So, sa akin, talagang ano eh, talagang it's a time to uh, to pause and to stop thinking of, you know, ourselves again. <laughs> diba? Parang we always, always think na, ano, yung, ano ito yung gusto ko, ito yung gagawin ko. Puro tayo, di ba? Puro ako. Uh, but, The thing is, it's really a time to remind us na, kaya kaiba naman muna. Diba? Asawa ko naman muna. Diba? Or, yung anak kasi natural na lang sa atin as, a, as mothers. Eh, na parang we put our children ahead of us. Diba? Pero for other people, like our spouses, we, I don't think we, we, we are in a it's, a, it's a natural response for us to put our spouses first. Diba? Parang, right. o oh, sige, mga bata muna. Pagkatapos niya, then you think, ah, teka, yung asawa ko naman. So, when in fact, tayo, in, in in our community, in our church community, we're being encouraged to to focus on the spouse first and then the children next. So, siguro yun, yun yung I think na something that we can do differently na uh, aside from uh, not thinking about ourselves, Uh, let's pray that uh, God will also give us the, ano ba, the talent to be inspired, no? To put naman, not others in general first, but our spouses first, and then our children. And then, uh, sunod naman nun, uh, yun na, yung mga merrymaking na, kasi ang dami na natin gagawin, eh, magpa-plan ng menu. Uh, yung iba... Like ako growing up, lagi ako may bagong baro pag Christmas. Assign, assign no, ka saan? 
<laughs> Ina-assign tayo minsan sa, oh, ikaw to, ka sa ganito, ikaw to, ka sa ganyan. Yung pa, yung pa, di ba? So, <laughs> kaya, ang bilis na lang. So, notice mo ba, 23 na? I know. December 23? Tapos, aalis ka na? Ang gulat, ano? Ang bilis ng ikot na yung mundo. Ang bilis naman ng vacation natin. And then, uh, there, but there are many things for business people. Ang dami uh, namin gagawin for January, like staying for the business permits, di ba? Mga getting clearances from the barangay. Mga renewal of so, permits. Oo, uh, uh, yeah. Kaya, yeah, ano, let's siguro yung, yung mga iba na na parang biglang naguguluhan, parang very chaotic. chaotic. Mm-hmm. Let's think of, ano, let's think of God. Pause. What he did, pause. he did, oh, uh, pause, uh, what, and then parang reflect on what what was done 2,000 years ago. Kasi yun naman yung sinicelebrate natin eh. Ano ba nangyari 2,023 years ago? Ay, 2,022 years ago. Assuming correct yung Roman calendar ah. Okay. Kasi yun yung, yun yung time na 2023, ay, 2022 years ago, that Mm-mm. was when we acknowledge the whole the whole world acknowledged uh, that the that Jesus was born. Mm-hmm. Kaya ang galing yung iba imagine buong buong mundo naniniwala sila sa BC and AD. Alright, BC meaning before Christ, AD before Christ. after death. Oh oh yeah, para lang lahat, kasi yung iba lahat na, naniniwala. Na, Mm-mm. Mga tagapakinig natin, medyo hindi nila uh, arok yung uh, ad, AD at saka BC, you know? So, before Christ, oh, eh, doon okay. pa lang, naniniwala eh, na dahil uh, na, nailagay na dun sa Roman calendar na ito yung every 25th, yung kaugalian yeah. na isinima. But uh, actually, we will not focus on kung kailan siya pinanganak, pero the fact na naniniwala sila na ipinanganak ang ating Panginoon ay malaking... Uh, ito yung malaking good news kasi kaya yeah. bakit siya bakit siya kailangan uh, uh, kasi ang good prophecy question. niya oh, prophecy niya ano yan uh, prophet Isaiah sabi niya Isaiah, a, child, yeah. oh, a child is to be born eh pagdating ng 2000 years later sa New Testament talaga pinanganak siya pinakita yeah. na yung prophecy ni Isaiah ay totoo samantalang hindi ano hindi pa that was 2,000 years ago, no? I-prophesy ni, ni Isaiah yun, ano? Hindi niya naman alam yeah. kung anong araw ipapanganak. So, wag tayo dun mag-focus sa kung anong araw, anong month, or sa... Yes, oo. Nasabi niya, a child is to be born of a virgin, Uh-oh. from a virgin. Yeah. She, he doesn't yeah. even know kung sino, kung pangalan ba ni Penn Bredan niyang magpapanganak kay, uh, sa ating Panginoon o pangalan ni, <laughs> ni Petra. Basta, a child is to be born. Sabi niya, yun ang prophecy. Yes, Which correct. Nag- so, doon tayo magpo-focus, bakit naman kaya siya yeah, pinanganak? Yan, yan ang maganda. Hindi, hindi maintindihan ng ating mga kababayan. Ang ah, pinanganak siya para ano, mag-Christmas giving, magbigay ng regalo, mag-celebrate, madaming piyesta, madaming pagkakaroon, uh, mag-PS party party. Yun ba yung, yung totoong uh, kahulugan? Kung bakit siya kailangan ipanganak dito sa ating uh, sa libutan? Meron ang ganda ng meaning. Meron. Mm-hmm. Yung totoong so, meaning parang na nalulunod na, di ba? Na right. napapatungan na ng mga nakikita natin palamuti. No? Pero That's hindi right. talaga yon yung maganda, magandang balikan. Ano ba ang, ang rason? Bakit? Kailangan na mabuhay. Ay, kailangan na ipanganak. Dati ka pagkita. Mm-hmm. Kailangan malaman natin yun eh. Bakit ano, ba? Anong, anong purpose? Ba bakit siya pinahinak? No? Kasi sabi mo nga, tagapagligtas. Bakit kaya, bakit kaya tayo kailangan ipagiligtas? Diba? Oo. Magtataka rin yung iba natin mga tagapakinig. Yeah. Yeah. Bakit naman ako ililigtas? Okay naman ako. May, nakakakain Oo. naman ako tatlong beses ng araw. Meron ako yeah. damit. Nakong roof Oo. under my head. Meron din ako provision for siguro uh, uh, negosyo. Meron akong maayos na maliit na negosyo. So, ano, anong kibigal? Bakit kailangan kong maintindihan na siya ay uh, pinanganak dito sa ating bundong iba? So, malabo. Wala, 
yung talagang uh, ako growing up hindi ko nga naintindihan yun eh oh. <laughs> kasi, kasi ang Ay, talagang ko nalaman no <laughs> oh bonita monito o oh, anong gift na kami every oh. week nako kailangan magprepare ako less than 500 ang regalo ko kay ganito yung nabunot ko oh. naka-focus yeah. dun eh tapos oh. not knowing napaka-importante pala nung greatest oh. gift Yes. Kung may gift, diba? Si Spen, kung may gift tayo laging uh, uh, tinatawag na prepare para sa asawa, Uh-oh. sa anak, sa kid or sa friend, ito, ito pala yung gift na ito ay sobrang importante, napakahalaga ang yeah. binigay na, na regalo Uh-oh. sa atin. At libre ah, free gift of salvation. Yun yung palang pinibigay niya sa atin. Pakibahagi yeah. so, lang kasi talagang kailangan oh, ma-i-fight <laughs> natin sa kanila na ito ay napakahalagang okasyon, pinanganak siya oh, at may purpose, hindi para lang magregaluhan. Ito yung importanteng yeah. regalo na kailangan maintindihan ng sang libutan. Go ahead, sister. Oh, yung ano, yung, alam naman natin to, hindi you mentioned Isaiah na may, may prophecy siya about okay. the, yung parang, yung mga signs. Sino ba tong bata na to? Pero we have to go back to the very first story in in the Bible, which is Genesis. In Genesis mm-hmm. pa lang, the Savior was already promised. Okay. Sinabi na agad na uh, yung, surf, yung serpent will be a uh, crush. Diba? Uh, will be crushed. Pero that serpent will also bite the heel of the of the person uh, na magka-crush sa kanya. But yung yun, very important yun kasi yun pa lang alam natin, humanity fell. Mm-hmm. Alam natin na mula kay Adam and Eve, lahat Ay. na ng mga tao doon will have a nature of sin. And when, mm-hmm. when we have that sinful nature, alam natin na we don't have any part in heaven. Kasi God is holy. Tayo, tayo sinful hindi pa pwedeng mag, parang bigyan lang is, bigyan lang is, hindi pwede magsama. So, our God, our Father, our Creator, found a way for us to uh, be reconciled with Him. And ang daming paraan para, nung mga panahon na yun, para ma-reconcile ang tao sa sa Diyos. Merong, merong animal sacrifice. Ang dami. Ang daming mga, siguro prayer, mga ganyan. But more, more blood sacrifice. Animal sacrifice talagang importante na a blood is shed for the forgiveness of sin. That's very important. And then, um, syempre, yung, yung history uh, moved on. Naging, naging uh, na, napanganak si Abraham, na, napanganak si Isaac, si Jacob, sila yung ating sinatawag na mga forefathers. And then the 12, 12 tribes of Israel, it, it's, a, it's a long story, but it's a very good story. Pagkatapos nun, it was already prophesied na it's, that the Savior will come from the tribe of Judah. Judah. And it will be in the line of David. David. So pag nalaman natin sa mga anak-anak-anak-anak, apo-apo-apo ni David, doon nang galing si Jesus Christ. And if we, if, if we go through all the prophecies, lahat, talagang there's no doubt that the child born, you know, 2,000 years ago in the person of Jesus Christ was the Savior. Um, because of yun na, kasama na yung prophecy ni Isaiah. So, now, because of that, nagkaroon tayo ng opportunity to be able to uh, be reconciled, like what I said, to be reconciled with God, for our sins to be forgiven, and for us to be washed, for us to be made righteous. And hindi yung, hindi yung madaling gawin, hindi madaling gawin na, na isang nila lang, mamatay para sa atin. Ah, oh, yes. But because Absolutely. of His great love, hmm. dahil mahal na mahal Jesus, tayo. Yeah, because God loves so, the world so much. God so loved mm-hmm. the world. He gave His gave only time, which is Jesus Christ. For the great forgiveness of sin, di ba? Para, imagine, uh, it's, a, it's not a good, it's not a happy story, ah. <laughs> Wala, Medyo, yung, yung nangyari, may, opposite ng mm-hmm. opposite ng color red, a red blood pwede yan. Opposite ng yeah. mga twinkle stars, twinkle lights, ng mga, yeah. ng mga parang happy songs. Yeah. Diba? 
opposite na opposite. Noong nagpinanganak si, ano, si, si Jesus, ang, alam mo, ang, ang nasasabi lang ng mga angels, holy, holy, talagang glorious, talagang parang graces ang uh, lumabas sa mga bibig nila. When he, when he was born, but when he died, we know that he was left. He was uh, abandoned by by his apostles. It was a, a sad, it was a sad uh, uh, time in his life. But we know that was also the biggest uh, parang gift also. Yes, he was born, but he also died. Which I think is very important. Kasi kung pinanganak lang si Jesus at hindi siya namatay para sa atin, there's no salvation. Diba? The, the birth of Jesus that we celebrate now is only the beginning. Diba? It's, it's the first, kung baka first page. First yung phase, ending oh. part, which is uh, for us a glorious, a glorious time. Yeah, we call it, eh, we call, we call Friday, the death of Jesus, a good, a good one, a good Friday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Parang thank God it's Friday. <laughs> Kasi talagang yeah, parang good, uh, good, good Friday. And syempre, oh. kasi nga nabanggit mo to reveal God's love for us. Mahal na mahal tayo. Na pinagbigyan pa tayo ng isa pang pagkakataon. Imagine. Kasi nga, day one pa lang, uh, Genesis pa lang, panahon pa lang, yung unang ama at ina natin, si Eva at Adan, ay nagkasala na sila. So from yes. then, up now, as we speak, I, for all have sinned. Lahat, no one is righteous. No? Pa, paalala lang natin no sa lahat. Baka may magkiklaim dyan sa bansang Austria o sa bansang uh, Ireland o kahit anong bansa na sinasabi nila eh, righteous sila. Hindi po. No one is righteous. Not one. But only Sabi by the blood of Jesus. Kaya maniwala tayo doon. Mm-mm. Right. The scriptures kasi yeah. po, yan, yan po talaga ang uh, maaaring uh, Actually, the only love letter ng Panginoon sa atin, kaya nga love eh, love letter niya kasi love niya tayo. So may letter yeah. siya iniwan, Holy Scriptures, ang Bible. Para basahin natin, di ba, pagka naman yeah. binigyan ka ng love letter ng iyong boyfriend, halimbawa, nung nililigawan ka pa ni Dr. Doc, Rene. <laughs> eh, syempre, may mga yeah. sulat yan. Alam nga naman, di mo basahin. Kailangan basahin mo, nanamnamin mo pa. Minsan nga, nilagay mo pa sa ilalim ng unan mo dahil gusto mo ulit <laughs> ulit-ulitin yung mga sinabi niya. Ganon din yung ating Panginoon. Binigyan niya tayo ng yeah. love letter. Mahal niya tayo, love niya tayo eh. Yung letter mm-hmm. naman, love letter, eh, dapat naman, namnamin natin. Alam din okay. natin kanyang, uh, kanyang uh, sinasabi doon at uh, ipamuhay uh-huh. natin. Yan naman the best para sa atin dahil hindi naman para sa kanya lang. Para you know, we will know the will of God for our lives kasi yun naman din ang uh, gusto niyang yeah. Ah, ang sarap kaya malaman ano kaya ang talaga ang kalooban Uh-oh. ng pangkinakin ako magiging broadcaster good o facing magiging... and perfect diba oh, ano diba? natin good facing perfect will yeah. yes yun ang gusto Uh-oh. niya para sa bawat isang nila lang napaka yes. anong nga lang ano? uh, again uh, sasabihin mo nga this world is fallen so karamihan ay hindi pa rin nakakaalam so nandito nga tayo si Spen ito nga yung layunin ng ating programa in fact meron tayong one verse a day keeps worries away every Monday yes. kasi yes. gusto na ipaalala kung hindi pa nila alam papaalam naman natin to make known to them yes. ito nga yung nasa sa scriptures na tayo ay nandito para ibahagi at hindi sila maging blinded. Hindi naman natin sila pinipuwersa, no? Pero yeah. ito yung make known to them. Para kasi nag-aaral ka, di ba, let's say, grade 1 ka, primary. Mamaya, magle-level ka ng grade 2, grade 3, hanggang college ka na. So, kailangan uh, alamin, magiging uh, accepting ka, receptive ka sa mga kaalaman. Kailangan oh, mag oh, oh. So, syempre, dahil kaalaman, eh, alamin muna natin itong aking sponsor kung magbabayad. Oh, Hindi, sure, lang. Okay. We have to pause okay. for a quick break. I hope you're still okay and join me again after the news break. Si Spen, okay. I really appreciate it. Okay. Si Ms. Loli Acosta, Sulo na Bayan sa DWIZ 882. 
Alright, ang babalik po muli ang ating programang Sulong na Bayan at kapiling pa rin po natin sa kabilang linyo ng komunikasyon via phone patch at pinagbigyan tayo kahit napakabisa ng kanyang araw at napakarami ng kanyang actually client. <laughs> Naandyan pa rin si Sister Pen Verdan, ang spiritual coach at president and CEO of Orange Travel and Tours. Uh, Sis Pen, papakita ko lang sa iyo kung ano yung interview ko dun sa Orange ano uh, Finish. Oo. Papabahagi ko lang sa'yo para makita mo lang yung short clip ng aking interview kay uh, Miss... Uh, All right. Yung... All right. Roll VTR. Thank you, uh, sis. Okay. Uh, oh, how is that? How is that possible? You work I'm, in the uh, education? I'm from Lapland. Lapland. I, was, I, I was grown and bred in Lapland. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's where Santa Claus is from. Yeah. Uh, that's why I know him. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you you were mentioning he is your former employer. How yep. did it go? Well, in a way that there's a place called Santa Claus Village, uh, Village. by the Arctic Circle. Mm -hmm. And I, at the Arctic Circle, Santa mm -hmm. Claus Village is open every day of the year. Okay. So I used to work there as a teenager. As a teenager, yes. Then, yes. all right. Yes. And how was it working with Santa Claus? <laughs> well, he is the nicest possible boss you can have. <laughs> the nicest. <laughs> That's cool. But uh, every single day you mentioned is is open for like different nationalities. Yeah, yeah. Just, it's, an it's a tourist place mm -hmm. that you can just visit Santa Claus. Okay. Hop over the Arctic Circle Excellent. line, see reindeer, mm -hmm. and That's see awesome. the. During the summer, you see the midnight sun, and during the winter, you see the 24-7 dark darkness. So really but dim. Also, you see the aurora borealis, which is What's the that? northern lights. Okay, the northern lights. Yes. And we, I think, the Philippine uh, producers made a film in the northern lights. They called it the northern lights. Again. Yes. I'm not sure. Yes. In English, it's called northern lights. Okay. Uh, in, in Finnish, we call it the foxes. Fire. Fire. It's fire. Yes. Well, the old legend says that the northern lights were grown, born out of the fact that foxes were running on snow and their tail when it was touching snow and the snow started to scatter across the sky. So that is the northern lights according to old legends. Is that like um, every year? Does it happen? Northern lights? Northern lights is uh, a phenomenon that happens actually all the time but it uh, starts from the sun burst right. so it depends a lot but the only time when you see them is during the winter time because of the darkness of course right. during winter time so people would really wait up and look forward to going to your country in Finland in winter time yes. so there's a lot of tourists we're saying yes. revenue for your government Revenue for the government, we don't have a tourist tax, um, so basically it grows businesses, it helps develop businesses, so tourism is one of the main industries in Lapland. And talk about the higher learning, the education, do you also offer like the Erasmus, some scholarships? Actually, in Finland, all of the institutions offer their own scholarships for international students, regardless of their background. So each level, bachelor's and master's, you have options to obtain scholarships. And studies at doctoral level, so PhD studies, are free of tuition. So there, there are scholarships for living expenses, but there are no tuitions. Tuition. Okay. And that's like how many year course? Depends on the institution. Bachelor's are usually at research universities three-year programs, masters are two-year programs, and then PhD is a four-year program. Okay. And uh, for, to, for the two-day uh, fair, did you have some people sign up? Yes, we yeah. met with several really good students, both bachelor's and master's level, and many were interested also in PhD level studies. PhD. What uh, courses did they, uh, you know, were Only they interested? Very many. There were students with biomedical engineering background, architecture, mm -hmm. uh, social technology. sciences, business, management, leadership, mm -hmm. all kinds of skills and, and interests. That's good to hear. In the country, in our country, the Philippines, what kind of businesses do you have right now here? Are you aware? Well, our university doesn't have any businesses here. So basically, we all universities are public universities, so we're public institutions. Public institutions. Is this your, like, uh, how, how many, how many uh, years are you here already in our country? Well, 
some of our first students came already over 10 years ago from Philippines, so we've always had Philippine students, but not many, so we're looking to grow our numbers. Thank you so much for this no time. I'm really, I'm really what, uh, in awe now that you were saying you're your former boss. <laughs> but how old were you then when you were working oh, with Santa Claus? I was Claus? working there because everybody, I think every Finnish person, <laughs> when they're teenagers, they start to do summer talks and, and holiday talks. And I worked there with, from when I was about 17, 18 until I was uh, my early 20s, mm -hmm. on and off, mm -hmm. uh, before I went to university. That's long. That's yep. long enough. What did you take up in university? Uh, I studied English as a major. Mm -hmm. That's why you're so articulate. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you so, so much. Let me get your name again. Joanna Kumbula. Joanna Kumbula. That's yes. how you say it. Yes. Okay. And now you're the... What, what, Head of what? International Education at Tampere University. Tampere University. That's in Finland. Yes. Thank you so much. Nice meeting all right, uh, yan po si uh, Joanna Kumpora. That's how she uh, pronounced her her name, ano? Uh, Finnish national. Na uh, narinig mo ba si Spen? Uh, nagtrabaho siya kay Santa Claus. Ang cute <laughs> Tapu... niya. Ah, katuwa. <laughs> At saka talaga naman daw, uh, uh, laging bisitahin yung ano, Santa Claus Village. Eh. So, nakasagawian niya yun na magbigay ng... Sang katutak na regalo at uh, sharing, sharing of bounties. So, talk about share, sharing of bounties. Yun din ang binigay ng ating Panginoon because He so, so, so loved the world so much. He gave, He gave, He gave His only begotten Son para mamatay, tama ba? At mabuhay maguli. Para kasi bayaran, bayaran ng ating mga ano, lang at pangkakasalanan. Oo. So, hindi ganun ka Oo. Imagine nakipaghalubilo siya, he became man, he became, ano, he, he, he's in the flesh. Nabuhay siya ng yeah. parang uh, normal na tao na anak ng karpintero. Ni, uh, ang husband ni uh, Mary ay isang yeah. karpintero. So, nakisalabuha siya, nakaramdam din siya ng sakit at saka mga, yeah. lahat ng kung naman ng So, pero, yun nga, para tayo ay maligtas. So, binigay uh -huh. At bigay niya ang kanyang buhay. So, maski sinless siya, siya lang naman ang kaisa-isang sinless dahil lahat nga tayo sinful. <laughs> For all have sinned and fallen short. So, ito na. Lahat uh, nung araw ay talagang uh, lahat ng kasalanan sabihin mo na ay naandun. 2,000 years ago, eh, hindi naman pala katakataka yung mga kasalanan nakikita rin natin ngayon, no? Sa internet, sa buong mundo, sa fallen world, kung again. Pero, ang good, good news is, kaya tayo nagsiselebra ng uh, uh, Pasko para ipaalala na ang Panginoon ay pinanganak para tayo ay maligtas. The free gift of salvation. Nam Namin niyo po yan, you have to reflect, yeah. meditate, uh, ito mga darating na oras at minuto. Oo nga, no? Bakit ba nga siya pinanganak? Eh, okay naman ako. Yun ang misteryo. The Bible mystery talaga is for us to be saved. At bakit okay. naman ako isi-saved? Yan na naman ang mga tanong. So, uh, yan, ang, yan ang aalamin nyo sa mga susunod na minuto. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas Eve. Ako ay uh, hopefully ating na maayos din at makasama ko yung aking mga kamag-anak at anak. At yun din ang aking gustong ibahagi. So, eh, uh, yun nga, meron na friends, uh, si Spen, na yun din ang kanilang uh -huh. goal. Magkakaroon ng yeah. reunion. Alam mo, yeah. magkakain. At saka magsiselebra. Uh -huh. Pero, uh, meron siyang purpose na kailangan ibahagi niya yung true meaning of our Lord, uh, the birth of our Lord Jesus. So, yun ang gusto kong ipagdasal mo sana na lahat tayo na may oras at may chance ang ipabahagi ang tunay na kahulugan ng ating pagkapanganakan ng ating Panginoon ngayong Christmas. Dito sa mga gagawing Christmas party, eh magkaroon tayo yeah. ng po or chance to say it to them. Ako, I will do this. I will try. I will uh, ha ask the Holy Spirit to uh, come upon me para maibahagi ko kung ano nga ba. Kasi for the longest time, Si Spen, aten ako na aten ng lahat ng lahat ng kasayahan Christmas. Pero pagkatapos nung bukas, lasing na iba. <laughs> lasing yeah. na at uh, masakit ulo the next day at uh, mainit pang naulo dahil uh, hindi sila nagising ng maaga. Alam mo iba-ibang mga kondisyon ng mga katawan. Kasi nga hindi nila naintindihan yung sinisilibrang 
uh, napakahalaga. Napakahalaga. Hindi ko ma oh. hindi ko matanong ng ari anong bian fatong bakit ang ngayon eh, eh hindi alam ng karamihan sa atin ano nga ba bakit siya nabu pinanganak pa. So yeah. ano ano yung uh, pwede pa nating ibahagi at mas maintindihan with charity. Ano na tis ko ba ano again? Uh, ano pa yung pwede natin ibahagi with clarity ah, okay. na uh, talagang uh, paintindi natin sa ating mga tagapakinig na hindi lang to basta-basta celebration. Ito po ay uh, para sa atin, ikaw at ako at maligtas. Para makasama natin siya sa buhay na walang hanggan. Gusto niyo po ba yun? Yun ang tanong eh. Gusto niyo yeah. ba dito lang ah. lagi kumindi, nag-e-enjoy, nag-iinuman, nagsisigarilyo, yeah. nag whatever happening. Oh, yeah. Ito po ay nandalian lang. Meron pong talagang eternal na walang kamatayan. Yung eternal uh -oh. na kung saan. Yeah. Makakasama natin itong Panginoong pinanganak na yun. Siya ang makakasama yeah. natin. Uh, perfect, eternal, uh, immortal body pati at uh, hindi tayo mag, hindi na tayo magkakaproblema ika nga. No? Because uh -huh. right now in this world, it is uh, in this world, the world is in tribulation and the world is in turmoil. Yeah. Ang daming gera, ang daming nagutom, ang daming nangloko, uh, nang saskam. Gusto pa rin po ba natin na maging araw-araw na mangyari sa atin sa mga susunod na panahon? Di ba hindi? Si Spen. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Uh -huh. Kaya ano eh, yung, yung, ang dami talaga, there are many, uh, marami tayong kailang, marami tayong nag-worry nag tayo. Nag-worry tayo, nag uh -huh. tayo palagi. Uh, right. Isipan natin sa umaga, ang dami na natin mga iniisip. No? Bukod pa doon, sa iniisip natin, sa pang-araw-araw na problema natin, iniisip din natin, ano ba nangyayari pag namatay ako? Right. <laughs> ano ba? Katapos na ba yun? Siguro hindi yan naiisip ng Pasko eh. Di ba? Usually mm -hmm. naiisip mo yung kamatayan pag sa All Saints Day, All Souls Day, ganyan. Pero hindi mo naiisip pag Christmas. Pero this is the time na you also understand na meron tayong may, may ending yung buhay. Lahat ka man ganun eh. Lahat, di ba? Yes, I know, mega. Yes, I know. So, ang sigurad na tanong, and alam din natin, sa ano na to, naririnig natin to, life is short. Right. Mm -mm. Lagi so, natin naririnig yan, di ba? Meanwhile na life is short, ano yung dapat mong ginagawa? Yan ang tanong natin yon, sa kanila. Yun. Anong importante na kapag eh. i-prioritize? <laughs> Oo. Alam Kasi nitong pandemic. Right. Ito nga ang pandemia, napakabilis ang buhay eh. Kausap mo lang kahapon, yeah. tapos sabihin mo yung sinabi, COVID eh, namatay. O napaka-short talaga. Meanwhile, habang short ito, ano yung dapat natin ginagawa? Dahil nga pinanganak ang Panginoon. Sinasabi yeah. niya sa akin, <laughs> sundin, oh, sundin natin ang kanyang kalooban. His will. That's the greatest yes. worship when we obey His will. Ito yung kanyang kalooban. Dahil hindi naman niya gusto tayong mapahawala o ma-perish o ma-destroy. So again, uh -oh. for six my people perish for lack of knowledge. Uh -oh. Ito na nga na binabahagi natin na uh, dapat mag-reflect po tayo uh, bakit siya na buhay at namatay. Nakakagulat eh kasi nabuhay ka tapos namatay ka din. Pero ang good news, uh -oh. nag-resurrect na buhay maguli. Yes. Uh -oh. eh, siyang talagang Nagbibigay pa rin siya eh. God is the God of many chances eh. Imagine. Uh, the reason, the only reason nga, and that's why I'm having this program is because God has gave me, has given me a second chance, he spent, to do things right. To make things right. To make it happen. Make it happen na siya ang unahin kesa kung ano-ano. Kasi dati, ang dami kong inuuna eh. <laughs> ang daming mga kung anong mga walang kakwenta-kwentang bagay na inuuna ko eh. So, this is a second chance for me na gawin mo na yung kalooban ng Panginoon. Hindi yung gusto mo. Sabi mo nga kanina eh, for others. Let you, you guys have to pause and think about others this time, not just you, you, I, me, and I. So, yun yung parang chance ang binigay niya sa atin, dalawa, to make it happen, to do things right, the right choice way. The right choice way to do yung tama lang, kundi kalooban niya. And then, when that happens, then, alam ko na, hindi ako kailangan matakot bukas mawala ako sa mundo, I'm ready. I'm ready. Agree ako sa'yo. I can perish because given naman si Spen ang if there's a beginning there's gotta be an end 
So, may umpisa, may ending. Hindi ka naman habang buhay, yeah. maganda, mamunguluntoy ka din. <laughs> Lahat ng, ano, magde-decay, whatever you see right now, yeah. whether wealth, fame, and fortune, it's all pass away, but God's word yeah. will stay. So, ang sinasabi natin, namnamin po natin, ngayong uh, pinanganak uh-huh. siya, gapit siya uh-huh. pinanganak, ang purpose niya, at para yeah. maintindihan po, na hindi tayo dapat na ma- nag-worry kasi nga yung ating one segment a day, uh, one verse a day keeps worries away hindi tayo dapat mag-worry na mawawala tayo uh-huh. sa mundo mas maganda pa nga si Sven kung talagang uh-huh. uh, tayo ay oras na no? because there's a time for everything a season yeah. for everything be born na time to die so kung ikaw ay oras mo na eh di ang ganda kasi dun ka sa kanya pupunta alam na alam mo assured ka na pupunta ka to uh-huh. live with him eternal O, hindi, wala nang ano, wala nang wala nang sakit-sakit, wala nang cancer-cancer. Uh-oh. Perfect eh. Perfect body. Because we will be worshiping a perfect maker. Yan. Yeah. So, yes. Yan sana Uh-oh. ng ating mga takinig, ano. Uh, ang wish Uh-oh. ko siguro kung sa prayer at uh, alam ko napaka-busy mo but I'm so so blessed na kasama kita lagi. <laughs> Any, anytime. Pasensya ka na. Hindi, but we're so grateful. Close us in prayer para maintindihan lang okay. ng ating mga pakinig na tanggapin na nila ang ating Panginoon. This is the time. There's no other time. There's no other reason when. This is the time. Go ahead, sister. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, it's okay. Um, thank you. Thank you, Father, that um, we are here no, once again to honor you, to lift you up, to glorify you. Father, thank you that you were born. Thank you that you saved us. Thank you that you died for us. Thank you that right now you remind of us that we are finite and that is it's your desire for us to be with you forever. All of this we pray in the name of your son Jesus. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas. Yes. Happy Christmas. God bless and say hi to Brother Rommel yes. and sis. Uh, okay. and love you. I'll see you later. You. Thank you. Talk about Bye-bye. thank you. Marami po tayong papasalamatan. Siyempre, ang aming chairman, no less, D. Edgar Cabangon. Siya po ang chairman ng Aliyo Broadcasting Corporation na kung saan binigyan tayo ng pagkakataon na magkaroon ng ganitong palatuntunan at programa ng maibahagi sa ating mga kapatiran, sa ating pamilya, sa ating mga kamag-anak at mga kaibigan at mga business partners all over the world. And very soon, eh, may IZTV na po tayo. You can watch us sa ating uh, IZTV. Abangan nyo po yan. Channel 23 yan. At sa mga uh, digital box nyo, i-click nyo lang po yan at te- mag-test broadcast na po nangyayari. At mapapanood nyo na po ang lahat ng programa ng ating uh, DWIC 882. At syempre, ang kanyang kapatid, Randy Kabangon, uh, siya ng uh, manager sa ALC at ang ating uh, uh, station manager no less than Vic De Leon Lima. Maraming pagbabagong, maraming bagong format na aabangan uh, for next year, 2023. So, huwag niyo pong ipipihit ang inyong mga piitan dahil kaabang-abang ang uh, nilinyang programa ni uh, Sir Vic De Leon Lima. Katulong na rin syempre ang ating news director no less than Ate Juday, Judith Larino Estrada at ang ating mga kasamahan dyan sa ating uh, newsroom. Ano? So, uh, antayin ko nakalagay na ba yung ating mga papasalamatan na kasamahan natin sa newsroom. Siyempre si Engineer June Aguba, siyempre again, Miss Juday, Estrada Levino, Aram Sancho, Abby Malanday, at sa social media, ang sexing-sexing jam Rayo, at magiging inaanak ko siguro pag kinasal siya. <laughs> at ang ating communication assistant si Hias Pantaleon, don't get hurt, alam mo, Baguhin mo na yung Facebook mo, lagyan mo ng joyful. Huwag na hurt. Kasi the moment yun na sinasabi mo, yun ang tuloy nangyayari. So that's my advice to you, Pearl. Hurt ba yan? <laughs> oh, hurt? Basta alisin mo na yung hurt, lagay mo joy jan sa Facebook account mo. At syempre, <laughs> si Jessa Barameda at uh, sila may kakahapon, sila Mace. But uh, susunod na po ang oro sa DWIZ. Yan po ang David Oro Observation. Reaction, opinion. Pero bago ko pa eh, uh, tapusin ang ating uh, latuntunan ngayon, again, uh, Merry Christmas din sa aking mga datatunan sa Las Vegas. <laughs> si Miss uh, Cora Miller will be my uh, travel buddy. Hello, hello. At uh, hopefully, ay, uh, masundo mo ako ang time. 
Check ko lang kung anong actual time ng arrival dyan ano, sa Macaran Airport sa Las Vegas. So, take it easy. I know it's evening time. Ano na ba ngayon? Uh, last test na kung magkabi na dyan. So, tulog ka na. Get some rest. So, I'll see you very, very soon. Christmas Eve. Now, I'll be joining my... Uh, only unika iha, no less than Marlo Grace Acosta, who flew from Korea, nandiyan na siya sa Las Vegas with my brothers, Zaldi, Roland, and um, the families, respecting families. So, I'll be seeing you in a long Christmas Eve na po ang dating ko dyan. <laughs> Kasi nauna kami ng one day, ano? So, hello naman sa aking kaibigan sa London, si Pearl Villa Mayor, at ang aking... Uh, Tita Luz, dyan sa Baklaran. Um, palakas ka para naman, ikaw naman ang makasayaw at maisama ko sa aming uh, da, uh, ball, ballroom dance. Ano? Tita Luz, per singular. At ang kanyang anak na si Peachy. At ang anak naman at apo nila na si Pearl, si Jeff, at syempre si Tin. At ngayon din husband ni uh, Peachy, na si Eric. At ang sister-in-law na si Ness Ligan. At syempre ang balikbayan namin. Pinsan, we love you so, so much, Ate Nevi. Uh, at uh, at least, ay, nagkasama tayo kahit kaunting panahon. Ano? Somehow, ay, very soon, uh, siguro kami naman ang pupunta dyan sa Canada. Pagbalik mo dyan. At syempre sa aking sponsor, San Miguel Corporation, through uh, RSA, no less than the Chairman CEO of San Miguel Corporation, Mr. Ramon S. Ang. Napakabuti at supportive niya for the past six years, almost six years sa aking programa. That's why he's being blessed, blessed so, so, so much. At syempre, hindi naman po mangyayari lahat ng yan dahil uh, ang kanyang napaka-mahusay uh, at skillful na media affairs group headed by Miss uh, Mary Jane O'Connor Lan Lanes ay uh, kasama rin dyan si Sir Jason Brizuela at ang kanyang staff, si John Hernandez, si... Uh, um, hmm, Kalimutan ko isa si, si Jackie Hidalgo at hopefully maalala ko yung dalawa. <laughs> but thank you, thank you for supporting my program for the past six years. And don't worry, kasama niyo pa rin po kami sa lahat ng inyong uh, uh, mga projects. Just tell us and let us know dahil again, napaka-ambitious ng project nila dyan sa Bulacan. Ang magiging international airport na kung saan state of the art ang talagang matutunghaya natin. Hindi tayo mapapahiya because a lot of investors are waiting for it to finish. At na maramdaman naman nila ang servisyong publiko pagdating sa uh, paliparan. Ano? Kompleto tayo ng mga facilities, amenities at ang ating mga lounges ay sigurado ng uh, state of the art dahil pinagbubuti po ng grupo ni uh, uh, Sir Ramon S. Ang RSA ang uh, paggawa ng ating paliparan na hindi naman tayo talagang mapaya at mapasabay tayo no? at par, ika nga, sa iba't ibang uh, bansa. At thank you na rin kay Lynn Leharte, ha? Dahil wala pa yung vaccination card ko, <laughs> actually vaccination certificate, ay ipalalala move niya. But thank you for the effort for having your boss sign it right away. Ano mo? Hindi ganun ka simpleng magpapirma sa kanyang bossing pero inexpedite niya po dahil alam niyang yan ay isa sa magiging requirement pag alis ko tonight. Ano? Actually tomorrow. So thank you, Lynn, Lehar Keha, at mag-ingat ka. At syempre, dyan naman sa... Uh, East Coast, ano, mga kamag-anak ko din dyan. Actually, sa Washington, si Miracle. Hopefully, I'll see you there. At ang iyong anak, si Eracura, si Etrio, at ang iyong husband, I'm praying na maayos naman din ang kanyang father, ano, na nasa Guam. And I, my brother-in-law, I'm praying na ikaw ay tuloy-tuloy na ang paglakas. But God is so good. Imagine, you're up and about after the quadruple bypass, the successful quadruple bypass dyan sa Chinese gen, handled by the experts themselves, mga, mga dalubhasang doktor po ang nag-opera sa kanya. So he's up and about. And we pray for your continuous healing at uh, ma-restore to normalcy. You know? Makabalik at makabalik ka din sa bansang Amerika. At shift to your wifey at uh, mga anak florally Marylis and Miracle Monzon na uh, talaga namang uh, nag-effort at nag-pray na ikaw ay gumaling agad. And my brother Robert and uh, wifey, my sister in love, Florence, I'm sorry, Florence, sister in love kasi ang tawag sa kanya, Eliza. At syempre, ang kanya anak na inaanak ko si RJ, Merry Merry Christmas. At yan na rin sa aking 
sister-in-law dyan sa Amerika, si Rain Rain at si Edwina. Um, Merry Christmas and just think of why was Jesus born to save you and me. Siya po ang ating magiging tagapagligtas and accept Him as our Lord and Savior. Wala nang iba. Wala nang iba. No less, no more. Siya lang po ang pwedeng makapagligtas. Not the Prime Minister of this state, not the President of this state, but only Him. Because apart from Him, we cannot we cannot do anything. Kaya ang sarap-sarap po na siya ay lagi natin kasama at accepted natin. Libre po. Libre po ang kanyang gift of salvation. Walang bayad. We just have to accept. Dito ba? So, thank you once again. God bless everyone. Merry Christmas. Bye. Si Miss Loli Acosta, Sulo na Bayan, sa DWIZ 882.